your your first experience walking out of the beach at Norman. <coughs> well, yes. Because now you take tours there and you're there yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, and into the Pacific, which b brings to mind here, I had interviewed um, uh, Fred O'Levy, who was the co-pilot on Box Car that dropped mm -hmm. the uh, the bomb on Nagasaki. On his return flight, uh, they were sidetracked and had to land at Okinawa instead of going all the way back to Tinian. And he said, even then, the story had preceded them that people said, we heard these great bombs and the war is going to be over. And uh, do you know that the bomb was only the size of a golf ball? <laughs> this, is the, this is how the, yeah. the rumors had begun. But uh, walking in these places, um, uh, standing on Tinian with a, a fellow who flew on those missions or on Omaha Beach. And Omaha Beach is a, it's a public beach today. It's not some pristine set aside that's uh, not used for the kids in the July are out there having a good time. Later on during the, the winter, it's very, very cold. And when you walk out there, it's desolate. It's just isolated. And the waves are breaking. And you can stand there and look up at those cliffs and put yourself into the the shoes of the men who landed there on that terrible morning and wonder how on earth did they ever make it across? How did anyone live? And as you go through the defensive positions and you see how the Germans had set up the fire, great crisscrossing fire, like great windshield wipers that, that would just sweep the beach of anything coming. And you realize that the plan, uh, like all plans, uh, went awry and the success at the beach ended up in the hands of the individual NCO sergeant uh, trooper to make a decision of, of how, to, how to deal with this. And they did. And instead of following the plan, which was out of the window, they, uh, they made do with what they had, climbed those cliffs, and defeated the, the German position. But it's an awesome place. And the cemetery itself, when you stand there, uh, you would be inhuman if you were not moved by, by what you feel there.